Next lady coming up is fantastic. Huge round of applause for Christy Jacob. Hi everyone, I'm Christy. I have a master's degree in spiritual psychology, which means I'm not cr just crazy, I have a master's in craziness. Now come on, all you out there, you all dabble in new age shit, admit it. You all read your horoscope, you all know your sign. How many Leos do we have out there tonight? Oh, one in the back. Usually you're up front. How many of you actually know your blood type? Yeah. That's actually quite a bit. I don't. So what happens if you get in an accident and you don't know your blood type? Oh my God, she's gonna eat six liters of blood. What's your blood type, ma'am? I'm a Libra. <laughs> but right on the cusp. Yeah, you guys all know your sun sign, but we know our sun sign, our moon sign, our rising sign, and what sign Venus needs to be in when we get Botox injections. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 doctor. No shot today. Venus is retrograde. I don't want to freeze my face. <laughs> Being enlightened means we have God on speed dial, and we call him all the time, especially for the really important things. Dear God, please send me compassion, patience, and a front row parking spot at the Grove. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're also really great at manifesting things, while the rest of you work really hard to pay for things. That's just crazy. We ask our angels. Archangel Michael, I'm like $800 short on my mortgage. Can you help me out here? Uh, we don't really do money. We're in heaven. But the bank's gonna take my house. What am I gonna do? Uh, would a plague work? We do plagues pestilence, and these really lovely fingers of light at sunset. Wait a minute. <laughs> Can you really take out an entire bank? No, we're not allowed. They're too big to fail. Thank you. No. <laughs> Um, yeah, we think that we have angels with us all the time, which makes it really awkward when we take a shower. Um, Archangel Michael, if you're going to be in here, could you at least wash my back? Yeah, where the rest of you guys uh, get a flat tire and you're on the side of the road and someone comes up to help you, you're like, oh, some really nice guy came and helped me change my tire. We're like, it was an angel, I swear. Um but he was driving a triple-A truck. Don't let the truck fool you. He left a feather. Yeah, the other thing about enlightened people, we are all about our signs. Feathers, dimes, butterflies, dead rats. You wouldn't believe it. I found a dead rat in my house. It's time to break up with Jeff. Or consider this, it's time to clean your house. Yeah, we can take any negative situation and turn it into a positive just by a sign. Oh my God, I found a dime in the middle of the street. It's good luck. Okay, but you uh, got hit by a car picking up the dime and lost the use of your legs. I know, isn't it great? I'm being given the opportunity to learn how to receive. Yeah. Setting intentions for us enlightened folks is so important. Like the rest of you guys just go about your lives. We intend to go about our lives. I intend to get up on time, drive to work safely, and send love and light to every bastard I pass and cut off on the way. Yeah, we are just not good to copying when we're, when we're angry. You can always tell that you're you're uh, talking to an enlightened person when they just don't admit they're angry. Um, especially, or, or when, see, I'm, hello, um, <laughs> if they find their boyfriend cheating on them. Oh, honey, it's okay. 
I'm sure it was for my highest good that you're fucking my sister. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not angry. She told you about the herpes, right? <laughs> when we get home, it's time for more intention setting. I intend to center myself, find my inner peace, and thank my boyfriend by egging his house. This is going to teach you how to learn how to forgive. I know, I'll key your, key your car. This is going to teach you not to be attached to material objects. I'm doing this because I care about your spiritual development. Yeah, we are not anchors to the real world at all. So the worst place that we can work is construction. OK. We need to get this building done ASAP. So we'll take six weeks to talk to our angels. Um, we'll do a deep prayer and meditation for another four weeks. Um, let's see. Then we'll start the permitting phase. John, have you talked to your spirit? You have you talked to your spirit guides? What? The project isn't going well. Has everyone been visualizing the project going well? Did everybody set their intentions? Did you all do your prayer beads? Which way? Counterclockwise? Clockwise? Clockwise. You idiots! Oh, wait. Look, everyone. A butterfly. It's a sign. Everything's going to be OK. Thank you. Chrissy Jacobs. Love and light. I feel it now. You guys are feeling the, the 